Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early, 5 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I just noticed my demeanor when I open up with the opening, the opening line here, the opening intro, I, I can't hide my, my feelings, my emotions when I do this. You, you guys could tell the kind of a mood I'm in. And I, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm disgusted. And I'm scared. Uh, I want to talk about Donald Trump. And I, I, got no, I get no joy in this. I remember the first video I did mocking, making fun of Donald Trump. And I thought it was funny. I laughed. Uh, it was, I think it was 4th of July, 2018. This video is probably still on the, my channel, This and That. Uh, you know, I had a good time with it because he said the Continental Army back in 1776 took over the airports. And, and it, it didn't end there. There was just more inane babbling. And this is the thing, too. People that talk about Joe Biden and his uh, speech impediment his forgetting names, getting up there in age, talking slowly. I would much rather, I, I would a hundred times over, rather have Joe Biden, a person who's just a little older, but intelligent. I'd much rather have him as president than somebody that is just, there's two stories I want to talk about. This Colin Powell one and this other one about the Declaration of Independence. Versus the Constitution. And Trump's having no idea that they're two different documents. All right. People talk about, you know, Donald Trump, he's a regular American. Uh, you know, he said, he tells it like it is. He doesn't hold back. He changes the norms. You know, he's not a usual politician. If this is a regular American, I'm ashamed to be an American. If he is, a, if he is the example of a regular American... Uh, it, it makes me embarrassed and ashamed to be an American. This is what I'm talking about. If this, it, it scares the hell out of me. This guy could ever hold office. And it just, it, it makes me frightened to believe that millions of people would still follow this guy. After Colin Powell, the link will be down below. What he said about Colin Powell, he centered on Iraq. Uh, he talked about, he saw the, his statement just drips of jealousy because the press treated him so good in the, after his death, and he hopes the press will treat him as good after he, you know, because he talks about Iraq, how, how Colin Powell made a mistake. That's another thing, too. Colin Powell acknowledged this. Colin Powell said it was going to be a uh, blot on his record forever. And he was right. Uh, see, the, right there, he was more of a man than Trump would ever be. He acknowledges his mistakes. And he goes on to talk about rhinos and how how. Colin Powell is a rhino and just, just a narcissistic, arrogant statement dripping with jealousy and envy. Uh, and I, I can't believe, I can't believe that there, there'd be a Trump supporter watching this right now that could say that could could say that that's, that's a, that, that statement was fine. You know, of course they'll go down, they'll go down to the comments and they'll just talk about Iraq, but they, Colin Powell, I was going to, I was going to study all this. I was going to look this up and research this before I did this video all about Colin Powell, but I decided to just go with what I know. He was born and raised in the South Bronx. I've been to the South Bronx, man. Anybody that was born and raised there and grew up and, and grew to the height and, uh, and broke barriers that Colin Powell did has the utmost respect for me. Uh, he was three things. He was the first African-American national security advisor. He was the first African-American chief of staff, and he was the first black American uh, secretary of state. Um, he served two battle tours, two combat tours in Vietnam. Donald Trump has no place, say, even, even, Colin Powell's name shouldn't even be in Donald Trump's mouth. Um, I could go on about this. You, you just, you, once somebody, pat, this is just common human civility, you know, and once the, the people on the right talk about how radical leftists are destroying America. And look at look at what Trump is doing just to to basic human civility here. You don't speak badly of people that pass away. You just it's just something you don't do. You let it go. No matter how much you dis dislike somebody, no matter what kind of ill feelings were between you, when somebody leaves this earth and moves on to wherever we go, you let it go. 
you speak highly of the person. It's just, it's just what you do. You do that for the person that passed away. You do that for the person's family and friends, the, person, the people that are grieving and hurting. You do that for those people out of respect because someday you're going to be in that seat or your family's going to be in that seat and you do that out of respect and you do it for yourself because you, you, this stuff it's like they say acid eats it does more damage to the container that it's in anger hatred envy damages you you let it go when somebody leaves this earth you just let it go uh not donald trump uh like i said this is just a, it's a new law all right, let me move on now. New York, uh, it's a, the, the council chambers. There's a, the whole, the link will be down below. The whole story will be down below. There's a statue of Thomas Jefferson. They're going to move it to somewhere else. This is New York uh, City Council Chambers. And Trump came out with a statement. Oh, here we go again. He says that they're trying to change history. That's kind of funny, him saying that. That uh, one of the main writers of the Constitution, how they're disrespecting him. This guy was the president of our, our country. And he doesn't even seem to have a grasp on the Declaration of Independence, which is one different document, and then the Constitution, which is another different document. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Jefferson had nothing to do with the Constitution. I think he was in France at the time as an ambassador or something. He, Thomas Jefferson had nothing to do with the Constitution. Once again, this, and this is the President of the United States, the, the leader of our country. And he, he, he has no clue of the difference between the, our two most important documents, Declaration of Independence versus the Constitution. The leader. You know how embarrassing this is in front of the entire world. And this is the person they want to reelect in 2024. It's embarrassing. They talk about Joe Biden. You know, maybe he forgets a name. He maybe talks slowly. His speech impediment. I would choose him any day. If I am half the man... Joe Biden is right now. When I get to that age, I will thank God. I will thank my lucky stars that I am that physically fit and that mentally cognizant. I would much rather have a man that might be a few microseconds slow due to age, but has the wisdom and intelligence of those years, as opposed to a man who never had the basic understanding or intelligence to begin with. Yeah, this is this is these two stories, just two examples of Trump's basic lack of civility. You know, it's it's not being a tough guy or or uh, as Madison Cawthorn called it a monster, be a monster. You know, disrespecting somebody once they've passed on. It's human civility, treating another, you know, in, in all religions, in all countries. When somebody passes away, it's over. You don't disrespect them. You let it go out of respect for the person that passed away, for the person's family that are grieving, and for yourself. Trump obviously has none of these things. No, no respect for himself, no respect for America, and no respect for, for human nature and then his his total lack of knowledge of the country we talked about electing a, a businessman well next time maybe a businessman that has a clue at least a, uh, an elementary um, elementary school clue of basic American history Declaration of Independence versus the Constitution. This is just, you know, this used to be fun when I made these videos, making fun of Donald Trump. But this is, you see now, I'm not having fun. This is just ridiculous. This is, just, it's scary. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Um, let me know. If there's Trump supporters watching, how do you defend? Let me know. How do you defend this? You know, I'm sure I'll get, oh, Colin Powell was a bad guy because he started the, oh, there's an interesting article. I, I hope to put it down below. 
Tucker Carlson adamantly defending Colin Powell and attacking Iraq because there's a weapon of mass destruction and we got to attack them. There's an article out right now where Tucker Carlson talked it up more than even more than Colin Powell or anybody else about how we have to go after Iraq because of the gas and all this other stuff. Yeah, your boy. All right, let me know. I, I need to know how you how how you can support this this mess of a human being. This this embarrassment of an American. All right, have a good Wednesday.